was a quicker transition than I was expecting. <laughs> also, ignore the fact that this screen is the Minecraft screen. We're going to pretend that I've done a fabulous job on transforming the space into a Rival Stars theme screen and not that I did the intro, beer back screen and outro and forgot to do the actual screens. <laughs> Hi, I'm glad you guys like the intro. I spent a long time making it because it was just one of those things I needed to get done for ages and it just didn't. Also, I have a dog. I have dog. He wasn't supposed to be in here, but then I got up to go pee and he bust in and he was waiting for me on my chair. Um, yeah, thank you for the, okay, all right, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, so Tiny Dog is here. Tiny Dog is gonna hang out with us today. I think. He might just choose to leave. I don't know. Um, he looks like he's going to leave now. Okay, do you want to... Hold on, let me move the microphone. Do you want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> Gonna take that as a no. <laughs> I don't think he's interested. Um, that's fine, though. Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Um, if some of you I saw yesterday. Of course, Sapphire's in the chat. Hello, Sapphire. I hope you're doing well. Snowy's here as well. e Hulse, nice to see you again. Midnight Bianca, welcome back. I haven't seen you in absolutely ages. Spot Games, I saw you yesterday. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Hello. He is scared of you guys. You guys are very intimidating to a very, very small dog. He doesn't know you're there, but he can feel your presence. Um, I'm doing well, thank you. I've got a lot to do, a lot to, lot to catch up on, but I'm here today to say hi. Midnight Bianca, thank you for the 11 months, going on one year, oh my goodness, that time flies, I tell you. Thank you ever so much for your 11 months of support, Midnight Bianca, I really, really do appreciate it, and it's lovely to see you again, I hope you've been doing well, hope everything's um, going A-OK. -okay. Uh, hello to Andy, who this is their first live stream, I don't know if that's your first live stream with me, or just your first live stream in general, either way, that's really cool. Also, I'm on top chat, so I can't see all of the all of the messages. Um, bold of you to assume he's not the intimidating one. Actually, he's hiding because he knows what's best for you guys. Do you see his little, <laughs> look at his little face. Are you gonna, can, can you give me a high five? Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, he's good. He doesn't know any of you. If you, if you guys were standing in front of me right now, he would be so scared. He is so very scared of people. He is not a fan of people. Um, the doggy's name is Unit, because his full name is actually Absolute Units, because I thought it was funny. He's also licking my hand. Do you want to come out and say hi again? No. <laughs> he says no, thank you. Um, hi, Horse Girl 3 I hope you're doing well. Midnight is one year, one years old in two days. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Time fly. Are we back? Are we good? I don't think we're good. I think something's happened. Has something happened? My... Yeah, I'm glitching. I thought so. My internet just died for a second. Or OBS died. I don't know. One of the two. Hold on. Let me check that it's fixed. Wait, guys. No, stop yelling at me. I know. I know it had a hiccup. I know. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, it's working now. Yeah, I, it was me, I think. Oh, no. OBS is just not liking me today. It's me. It's me. I'm the issue. It broke. <laughs> Okay, it did say reconnection successful. Fingers crossed it stays like that. I don't know what's happening to it. Have I got something running I'm not supposed to have running? Mm, maybe I should shut this down. What's this? Okay. Disconnect. I'm just gonna disconnect from everything. Is it good? It's fine now? Yeah, I just got a message up saying that OBS disconnected and then my chat just stopped working. I was like, wow, you guys are really quiet for once. <laughs> like, one person sent, like, the last message and I was like, that's it? That's all you guys have to say? <laughs> okay, I assume it's back now. We're good. Awesome. Thanks for thanks for hanging with me, guys. Um, hi, Matthew Turnbull. I hope you're doing well. I remember your name and I think you said it was your birthday recently, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. My mom is not here. She's working on an advent um, in town. Oh, do you mean an, an event? Oh, that's awesome with the St. John's Ambulance. That's awesome, Sapphire. That's really nice. It's okay now? Cool. Yes. Um, is eBay a good place to sell Brea horses? It can be. Yes. Um, it does take a really big hit on your income, though. So, like, it'll take something silly like 20%. Um, I'm doing good. Thank you, Alice. Hi. Hi, guys. You finally got a live stream. That's awesome. Also, Unit is violently shaking behind me. I might need to get him a blanket of some sort. This is my jacket. This is my fluffy. It's got ears on it because it's so cute. Um, so I'm just going to shove that behind me and he could just use that as a blanket. So he is no longer my problem. <laughs> I hope you... I, I wish you could have he heard that, but he, gr like, he grumbles all the time. He's like... Argh. 
Uh, he's like an, a little old man all the time, um, and he just grumbled when I put the, the blanket on top of him, so he should get warm in a second. It is fluffy. Unit is not dying. He is fine, I promise. He Don't lean back. Honestly, there's been a few times where he's been exactly like this, like there's some kind of like blanket or jacket on top, and uh, my dad's come to, to sit down in my chair, and I've literally had to warn him. I'm like, unit is underneath there. Please do not sit down on him, <laughs> because he will, he will be crushed, and I don't want a squished chihuahua. I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, Matthew, I really appreciate it. Uh, I will try not to lean back on you, I promise. Uh, why do you not like cheese? Because he is the ugliest horse I've ever seen in my life, and I hate the fact that you guys love him, because I hate him. So, in a way, you guys liking him makes me hate him even more. Because, you, because honestly, if Cheese was just one of those that I was like, is a passing horse, you know, like, oh yeah, do you guys remember Cheese, like that one horse that came up one time? That'd be fine. But the fact that you guys like Cheese so much that he is a reoccurring character, it makes me suffer, okay? It makes me suffer. Abby, every time you call Cheese, you, every time you call Cheese, you lose a subscriber. Well, every time I say the word Cheese... We love Rival Star's best game. Exactly. We love him because you hate him. I kind of get that. I, I get that impression that you guys only really like cheese because I really don't like cheese. Um, but, but yes, I did want to ask what you guys wanted to do today because I don't have a plan. Um, this is my full-time job <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm going to do today. But it's fine. I love cheese. He's not ugly. He's beautiful. Well, beauty is uh, insert in important like in the eye of the beholder, I think is the one I'm going for. So it does depend, but I think objectively, cheese is an ugly horse, so. Um, breed and race, okay. So I was also gonna ask, uh, the Rival Stars Rags to Riches series has kind of ground to a halt. Totally my fault, by the way. I recorded it in a really weird way. And so I need to do work before I can send it off to the editor and I can't be bothered to do the work, so, and I'm kind of busy at the minute, so it's kind of ground to a halt. Part of me wants to just sort of restart, but, like, that's a bit weird to do series-wise, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that, but we'll, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You wanna breed and you can pick names? Okay, last, last time we had, if any of you joined the Wednesday stream, we had Tarmac, and I think Mini Eggs was my, oh yeah, we were doing, like, Easter-themed names as well. Um, I know, I know you guys want me to continue Rags to Riches. I will, because I would like to finish that series at some point. I just don't know. How do you get so much gold? If you think I have a lot of gold, wait until you actually see. Look, hold on. Look. Oh, let's go into my game set. Look. Oh, it's above me. Oh, that's going to throw me off so much that I'm now mirrored. Look. 671 million gold. That's how much I have. Because I am a little hoarder. And I like to um, get lots of horses and lots of money. That's what I like to do. Also, you won't know who this is because the video has not come out yet. The video, I don't know when is going to come out. It's currently in the safe hands of Sandy Darkfall. But this is a horse that you won't... And I also don't need picture sporkle. Should I have sorted this beforehand? Probably. I also can't put this horse in the pasture. It's a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, just ignore that. Oasis isn't real. You're just, you're, you're, you're seeing things. Um, <laughs> breed, sparkle and cheese. Why do you guys make me do that? That makes me genuinely so upset. Like, why are you tainting? Look, why are you tainting this absolutely gorgeous girl? Look, look at her. She's, she's literally perfect with a horse that looks, looks like this. Hold on, where is he? That looks like this! He looks like this. Because we can. No, you're so right, though. <laughs> no, not Sporkle and Cheese. Yeah, Matthew gets it. Matthew gets that we don't want to breed Sporkle and Cheese. Um, we can also do themed breeding if uh, you guys want. Maybe not today, but, like, at some point, if you guys wanted to do, like, like chestnuts or bays or blacks or whites or paints, Appaloosas, anything like that. Cheese is perfect. Don't disrespect him. I suppose. I suppose I'll have to be nice to him for today. Um, Spees? You want me to, to breed Sporkle and Cheese to make a foal that's a, the, whose name's Spees? I'd rather just not. I'd rather delete my channel, actually. <laughs> I would much prefer to not be on YouTube anymore than call a horse Spees. Thanks. 
<laughs> I have a lot of Palomino paints. They're the best. Palomino paints are gorgeous. Actually, I was looking at it the other day. I was like, is there potentially a better coat that I could have put on? This is, this horse is always here. I don't know what it is about this horse creator. Every time I go in here, there is a horse that looks like this. It's like rain is just calling me. I don't know why, but it, there's just always one in here that looks like that. Um, Because I was thinking... Oh, I never know how they order these. <laughs> I mean, I do now. I actually, it makes a lot of sense how they order them now, but I can never actually find, oh, there is. So this is Sporkle's coat color, I think. Um, so it's more the patterns that I was like, I think there might be a better paint because back when Sporkle was made, there was like, there wasn't half as many coats, like patterns as there are now because they've been like updating and adding them and stuff. Um, so I was, I was kind of wondering, like, maybe there's, like, an updated Sporkle we could have. Although the original is so iconic. Like, so, so iconic. So now I'm like, I don't know if I even should change it, to be honest. Um, let me just see if I can even find the original one. Because <laughs> I begged for a drop-down menu. I begged. And we still have a scroll menu. It's so sad. I would just... Even if it was, like, it was a scroll menu, but, like, in categories to say, like, oh, I wanted a paint then that would be better because I'm struggling. I am very much struggling. Yeah, this was one that I was like, maybe that would be better, but like also not really. Or this actually, maybe the Z, mm, that's not, that's too much white, I think. And this is, this is sheep's, sheep's pattern. I actually don't know where Sporkle's original pattern has gone. This is, this is why I hate this, this system because I actually can't find anything, especially when I need to, because I'm trying to make a point because I, I'm trying to make a point, but now I can't find it. Maybe, imagine if they removed one of the patterns and that was like a really rare pattern now. I actually can't find it. They actually removed it, imagine. Oh, there it was, I found it. This is the dotted Tobiano. Do you still have Spike? Based on the fact that I don't know who that is, I'm gonna go with no. Um, Mega Sporkle Colored Cheese? No. 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 Politely, I have declined. Uh, OG Sporkle has little dots on her. Yeah, she does. It's this side. She's got like, that was like as close as I could get at the time. So I'm not complaining, but that was, yeah, it was the best I could do. Um, so now uh we now in the pasture you're gonna have a lot of horses that you guys do not know who it is because the vi <laughs> the video hasn't come out um i'm just gonna double check that there's no horses in here uh no you guys might have seen officials blot on the wednesday stream which you could probably figure out what i did in the video <laughs> if you've seen that horse um but yeah we could go ahead and maybe pick some horses for breeding what do we think should we pick a stud uh, also, I brought out both cheeses. So this is original cheese. This is swim cheese. I could... I can't. I was going to change the name of the, the, the horse to swim cheese. But it, just for reference, this is OG, also known as Rival Stars cheese. And this is swim cheese. So, um, yeah. Skittle. <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds. Spees, please. Politely decline. How do I refund a super chat? Can I refund this super chat? <laughs> I don't want to do spees. Please. For the love of everything, you want me to breed with cheese just straight off the bat? Okay, which one? OG cheese or swim cheese? Because there is a difference. Also, OG cheese has like no wins. I don't know why. OG cheese just doesn't run any races. I think it's because he has the same stats as one of the other horses. So the other horse always gets picked over cheese. OG? OG cheese, obviously. Matthew thinks I should go with the swim cheese. But a lot of people are yelling at me to do OG cheese, so... I could... See, this button right here, can you guys see, is so tempting. I'm so tempted to ju just... my misery would be over if I just clicked this button. I would... I would just... Ugh, I won't do it. I'll set a stud. Right, we have our stallion. I'm not breeding Sporkle and cheese. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Not the first couple breedings. Come on, guys. Let me have some dignity. Okay, so we've got Sheep, Whimsical, Kayla, and Asterisk. Who shall we go with? If anybody says Sporkle, I will end the stream. That's a threat. <laughs> Kayla, I see some people saying Kayla. Um, a couple cheeses, uh, not cheese, uh, a couple sheeps. So we'll go with Kayla. Kayla and cheese, what a terrible, terrible mix of horses. Terrible, terrible mix of horses. Um, we'll leave that for now, because 
I am trying to save my money. Oh, I keep going to the wrong place because I'm not used to the pasture being there. So the next one we can do is cheese and sheep. Although Matthew does want whimsical, and so does Spark Games. Sapphire also wants asterisk. I'll go with sheep. We'll go with sheep. And maybe then we'll do asterisk. Because I feel... I mean, asterisk is interesting because she's one of the only, like, bred horses that I've kept. Which is interesting because I'll show you her pedigree in a second. Um, or will it not let me because she's breeding? No, it will. Yeah, she is, I want to say, yeah, so she's Sporkle and Phantom Rush. So this is like a very, very OG horse. Don't know why I kept her, but if you watch at the end, so keep this in mind, if you stay till the end of the stream, you will recognize the foal that's in the outro screen. It's not the exact same horse, but it looks so similar that I was like, it's basically asterisk. Um, so I thought that was really cute. Also, I don't know if I'll get to show it. So I'm just going to show you guys the be right back screen. Because I, I I worked on it and I want to show you it. So I'm not actually going to go be right back. But I want you to have a look at the screen, okay? It's good, right? It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know the chat was there. Because I wasn't expecting it to be there. But it kind of worked. So yeah, there you go. So there you go. That's my be right back screen that I worked very, very hard on. So... Thanks. Um, shall we commence some breedings then? Shall we? Should we start with Kayla then? Okay, so have some names in your head. Don't yell them at me yet because we'll want like them to be gender specific and possibly correlate with the way the actual foal looks. Uh, but I will be picking names. So sorry, Skittle, if you are here. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So this is... Uh, I'm going to guess this is a rich brown nun dilution. Oh, decent stats. Actually, those are those are genuinely perfect stats. Like, you cannot get better stats than that in this game. Like, a 69 across the board is the max. You can't get 70 when you're breeding. Even though the custom creation horses can go up to 70, they don't get the care for, for fall stats. So, what now, this is a filly. So, um, yeah. What shall we name her? Mini Kayla. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> Washing machine. Hmm gonna have to put that one on the maybe list <laughs> um minky that's kind of cute willow toffee milka oh milka's kind of good snickers mm. Mm, maybe <laughs> keys with a k that's i agree with washing machine this does not look like a washing machine let's be real here guys um, Cookie, Rocky Road, Milky Bar. I'm gonna go with Milky Bar. That's a good, that's a good name. Uh, should we, I'm kind of, yeah, I'll, Milky Bar. I'm gonna take care, that's not how you spark a bar. Um, I'm gonna take care of it just because I've genuinely not seen perfect stats in a really long time. And I feel like, uh, I can't be bothered to do that. Actually, I'll do one because I think it'll make it slightly less expensive. Hire care caretaker. Um... So there we go. We've got max stats. Shall we see it grow up, grown up? I think I think we should. Let's go ahead and skip to mare. So we've got the 18 points distributed. Let's see. Oh, she's not the color I thought she was going to be. Okay, I thought she was the rich brown with no dilution, but she's not. Also, I love that the fact that the pop-ups are still Minecraft themed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so she's classic brown, non-dilution, silhouette Tobiano. I don't like classic brown. I don't know why. It just looks slightly off colored, which is a shame because I thought she was really cute as a foal. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Have I gotten that pattern yet? That's a good question. I actually, I have so many horses. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, Oasis and Milky Bar are the same. I know those are two completely separate horses, but uh, Milky Bar does have the same pattern as that so technically yes i have gotten that before hi princess nice to nice to see you uh we are just breeding some horses um we're currently breeding sheep and cheese and asterisk and sh and cheese as well so let's go ahead and see what sheep has brought us please i'm kind of hoping for a chestnut oh okay that's fine i want to say that's the done or buckskin. I can never remember. I think it's buckskin, actually. That was very close to perfect stats as well. That's not too bad. This, I'm not a fan. That's Cheese's um, coat pattern. If it, Like, the, the white splotches. That's Cheese's uh, genetics coming through. 
which I hate. Um, that is a cheesy horse. It does. Maybe something like cheese themed then, if we're gonna, if we're gonna stay on that route. Like, I was thinking like Brie. It, it's a filly. Because Brie has that like dusting of, I don't know. I feel like Brie has that powder stuff on the top. I, maybe I'm not a cheese kind of <laughs> Name it ugly. That's so mean. True though. Blue cheese? She's not blue, though. Because if it was a blue roan, maybe. Cheesy crust. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Um, <laughs> blue, Bluey is in blue cheese. Do you hate cheese? I don't hate... Well, the horse I hate, but not actual cheese. Um, the Dun Butter. Gouda. Oh, I like that. We'll call it Gouda. That's a pretty good name. Skip to Met. I won't, you know... How did you spell it, actually? I don't actually know how to spell it. I just said it, and I just saw it, but I don't know how to spell it. There it is. I got it. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't scroll too far up. There we go. Gouda is the name of this pony. Let's see what she looks like growing up. Oh, she's matured. Yeah, I knew it was the, the buckskin. I knew it. I Or is it done? I don't actually know. Oh, it's a classic bay with a cream dilution. Does that not class it as a, as a done? Or is that just a completely different thing? I'm pretty sure that is a done. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, classic bay with the cream. We have the classic brown for Milky Bar. Um, I do like the the really dark legs with the socks. I just think that's such a good good combo. So we have one more foal from Cheese. And it is uh, asterisk is, is foal. Um, let's see what they give us. We've had two fillies so far. I'm kind of hoping for a colt. Oh, cute. Okay. Similar coat pattern, I think. Yeah, not perfect stats, but they are pretty, pretty decent stats. Uh, so this is a cult. What names have we got? Weasel. Weasel's a good name. I actually do kind of think this... Mm, kind of? I guess? Moon? Oh, because you're thinking of, like, the crescent moon on, on the face. I kind of see it. Um, Crescent? Moon? A lot of people are saying moon, so maybe we'll do moon. Okay, okay, we'll do Moon because you guys have peer pressured me to do that. So that's basically what these streams are. Just peer pressuring Abby to pick a name until she actually picks it. Um, here we go. Here is Moon. I actually, yeah, I kind of see, I see the vision because like the, the pattern could be like craters, like, like Moon craters. And then on the front, you've got like the crescent. I kind of like that. That has, that has layers. It's got depth. So that's a Blood Bay Nun Dilution with the Silhouette Tobiano. I think this one was also the Silhouette Tobiano. So someone, I'm going to assume it's Cheese, has a hidden gene of Silhouette Tobiano because that has popped up twice. So who's going to be our new stud? I, thank goodness, can take a break from Cheese for a bit because we've just done him. So if you don't know, we've got Dave. Dave is a gorgeous black horse with some socks and a face stripe. Very bland looking, but he's really cute. Um, got my baby Jericho. We've got, uh, that's Kayla. She's a mare. We've got Death's Ice. Death's Ice is actually very popular. He's this um, gorgeous, like, deep black uh, with Twin Pinto. Uh, then we've got Phantom Rush, which is very similar to Dave, but not quite. Uh, he's on the classic black instead of the matte black. Then we've got Turbo. We've got Enchanting Essence, Princess Dagger, Gizmo. And I think that's all of them. And obviously, we've got Swam Cheese as well. Death Ice and Kayla. Dave, Dave has not gotten enough love. I feel like Dave needs to be bred with because he has not gotten any love. He's an arch pentaloser on his hidden patterns, a rich black hidden color, and he's got champagne hidden dilution. I That's just a, a recipe for a very cute horse. So let's go ahead and go to the foal stalls. And I think we'll, we'll include the new horses that we got as well, just so we can have some variation. So I'm thinking maybe we could do Gouda. Like, I think she's... Like, I don't want to say she's an ugly horse because to me, Cheese is really ugly because his coat pattern and his coat color just are the worst combo I've ever seen. Like, genuinely the worst combo. It, he just looks like moldy cheese. Whereas I feel like I'm not a fan of that speckled dappled pattern, but on this coat color, it's not that bad. Gouda is so ugly. and You think Gouda is more ugly than Cheese. That's crazy. That is insanity. And I'm going to do it just because you told me not to. So Gouda and Dave, those two will be together. Also, the name Gouda also kind of puts me off for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> she just has some things going for her and just a lot not going for her. Um, whimsical? We haven't done Whimsical. I feel like these two would be really cute, actually. 
Yeah, we'll do Whimsical and Dave. And this is our final breeding with with Dave. So let's pick a good one. Um, we could go with Sheep, maybe. Because Asterisk we did already do. And we did already do Kayla as well. So maybe we could do Sheep. Spronkle? I know people want me to do Spronkle. We'll do Spronkle then. So Spronkle and Dave. There we go. And uh, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna reveal Gouda first. Um, hopefully it's cute. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be really petty and I'm gonna wait ten seconds just so that it goes down in the price band. So you have t seven seconds to tell me something. I won't even see it in that time because by the time the chats come through, it'll yes, yeah, see it's already skipped and no one said anything. Am I gonna? Okay, for a second I thought I was gonna disconnect again. Yes, okay. Shall we skip? I was waiting for someone to say something interesting, but nobody did. <laughs> I just I, I just have horse names being thrown at me. Chestnut, if it's a if it's a boy, name it Billy. That's a good name suggestion. That is. I also see somebody waving. Hello. Communist Manifesto! Rattle! Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, it is warm in here. Oh my lord, I'm actually sweating. It is very, very warm in this room. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, the filly's so cute. Oh, <gasps> I hate this pattern so very much. So very, very much. Also, I need to open a window because I'm actually gonna sweat to death. So you're gonna sit on the Be Right Back screen. Enjoy. realized now I've opened my window my door's gonna bang <laughs> if that annoys you guys let me know <laughs> if you can hear that tell me right so what name suggestions have you come up with um rocky road snickers if it's a girl name it holly it is a girl I don't know if holly suits though nightmare call her cookie that's that's like the blandest name though give, give me something like give me something kind of unique I want something that's sort of like sort of out there meatloaf is not the right direction i see the vision not the right direction though coco i feel like is such a common name as well like i i know so many people who have dogs named coco or horses named coco missile missile woe okay i see the vision you're in a better direction better direction but not quite marshmallow hot chocolate it's it's a long name but we're guessing there Oh, your mouse was named Cookie? I'm so sorry. Cookie is a very common name, though. Very, very common. Hot chocolate? Ooh. We're kind of there. Posy? I like that. I like that a lot. Yuna has just decided to leave. Do you not want to say goodbye one more time? Doggy. Yuni. You gonna say goodbye to the stream? The stream's gonna say goodbye to you. He's freaked out because the door's banging now. <sighs> and I'm gonna need to get up again. Okay, you guys better enjoy this beer right back screen, I swear. <laughs> tactics i've closed the window and i've switched on a fan i don't know why it got so hot in here so quickly it might be my lights i don't know um so have we come up with the name guys the name pathogen not not quite hot marshall <laughs> i think you mean to meant to put marshmallow but marshall's quite a funny name it is a filly unfortunately meatloaf i'm not calling it me meatloaf name it frost nutella pancake oh I like that. I'm gonna go with Nutella pancake. That's I it it's layered. I like it. Nutella pancake. There we go. Isn't that fabulous? That's a fabulous name. Well done, Midnight and Bianca. That's a very good name. Oh, she looks like it as well. Look at her. That is, I'm gonna tell you right now, that is a rich brown with no dilution. I'm trying to learn them because I feel like that's a cool skill to have. Um so let me check if the code is correct. Yeah, see, told you rich brown. No dilution, speckled apples. Exactly. 
Mm, yeah, exactly. So we have one more, one more fall, and so far they've been pretty good. Like we've got a nice. I just I love this coat so so much, like so so much. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the fall stalls, and we've got one more to do. Let's go ahead and see what whimsical is i know it makes you want to eat the color it's so good it's like a rich chocolate brown it's so good right whimsical let's see what we've got interesting i kind of love it like kind of i kind of love it abby do you know who hickstead is is that the jumping horse i think so <sighs> weasel no we this is a pretty horse i kind of like it we, we need to go with like a like a finessed name give me okay give me your mm, sand beach that's a good one it's it's can we go with something beach themed bubonic plague is not the right direction i appreciate the thought but not the right direction G give me give me something like beach themed because i kind of like something like like sand or something like that bubonic plague oh boba bubonic plague no <laughs> sandy kind of sand dollar that'll be it yes Bree says sand dollar i really like that name yes sand dollar it is sand dollar and this is a filly i think that was all three fillies if i'm not wrong i think so oh she's pretty she does look like a sand dollar that's perfect literally perfect well done guys the naming is on point i love it um let me see the coat so this is copper bay with champagne uh, meh, meh. Oh, no, Moon was a stallion. My bad. So Moon was our only cult, and then we got two. Oh, Nutella pancake. I just... I want to eat this horse specifically, because it looks like powdered sugar on the top. Oh, so good. Would literally eat a horse right now. Um, so who are we going to pick for a stud? We've already done Dave, so Dave is done. Um, we could do Jericho. Uh, we could do Death's Ice. I know a couple people were saying him last time. Phantom Rush. I know that's basically Dave reskinned, but... Turbo has not gotten any love. And he look at him. He's so cool. I wish I remembered where Turbo came from. I don't remember if somebody created him for me. It's possible Queasy created him, but I don't remember. Death's Ice? Rattle says Turbo. Should we do Turbo? I do want to do Death, Death's Ice today, though. Oh, Snowy's changed their answer to Turbo. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll do Turbo, and we'll come back to Death's Ice maybe next. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. So let's go to the full stalls and we're dead. Oh, wait, I missed Sporkle. Oh, okay. Oops. I'm so sorry, Sporkle. I didn't mean to miss you out. Um, okay, so we have one more from the um, Dave batch to have a look at. So let's see what Sporkle brought us. My bad. I feel so, so bad. I forgot about her. That is the most boring horse I've ever seen. Give me your most boring run of the mill name right now. Uh, decent stats, actually. But like, I want something so plain. Like, just the plainest, mo like, most common name you can think of. Just anything. Meatloaf is not quite right. Cookie? I mean, you're not wrong. Cardboard. You're, you're almost there? Biscoff is actually quite a nice name. Dirty Cloth. How is that a casual name? <laughs> Bear? Ooh, Bear's kind of good. Crutana? I like that name too much for this horse. Like, that's a good name. Croutana's a good name. Cat? Ooh. Holly. Holly is... Ooh, actually, I'm gonna go with Holly. I feel... Uh, but then, I'm thinking of Justin Palmer's horse, Holly, who is a dark base, and I'm like, I can't go with Holly. Bella? Bella is... Yeah. Kind of. Plain Jane? I like... There it is. R Rattle's actually got a good name for once. Rattle has actually got a good name for once. Plain Jane is perfect. Well done. Shout out to Rattle. You've actually given me a name I can work with. Good job. Oh, and that's perfect. She's actually a pretty coat color. I underestimated you, Plain Jane. Um, that is a gorgeous color. And my mum's name is Jane. So, you know, that's also very nice. Um, so we've actually got the full stores all freed up now. I actually haven't forgotten any horses this time. So let's breed Turbo with... Who is the question? Who... She looks like baking paper. <laughs> she does actually, doesn't she? It's cute baking paper though. And plus, baking paper is a nice colour. So, Whimsical, okay. Actually, these two would be quite interesting, I think. Alright, we'll do Whimsical and Turbo. We'll definitely have to... Do I was just thinking that Midnight and Bianca. I was thinking... Uh, we have to do Whimsical. 
not whimsical, sorry, Nutella pancake. Absolutely. I mean, look at the, like, if we could transition that color with those dapples, mm, I think that would be so good. Okay, so Nutella pancake and turbo. Sheep, Eholst says sheep. Did we, have we bred with sheep yet? I don't think we have. These two are cute together, actually. I'll do, I'll do sheep and turbo. That's good, good suggestions. Um, my baby, I know. Okay, so, quick, entertain me for 30 seconds. I know by the time that you see this, I'll already be past the time, but I'm going to wait 20 seconds so that it goes down in a band. So, um, give me any sort of fact. Doesn't matter if it's fun or not. Just tell me a fact. And if it's not a fact, Skittle will personally come to your house and, and, uh, take all of your devices. That's a Pinehaven promise. Hi, Kenzie. How you doing? Um, do I like Taylor Swift? I like some of her songs. I wouldn't class myself as a Swifty, but um, I have respect for her. She's a very cool person. Um, some horses will eat chicks. Yes, I know that. <laughs> I actually, yes. Abby Fail Murder Haven. Is that a fact? <laughs> Debatable. Um, what's Skittle doing and why? Well, that's the contract you signed. Um, oh, that's horrible, Samantha. <laughs> I did know that, but that is a, a trauma. Why did you automatically? You guys are so bad. I asked for you. I asked for a fact. You just gave me the most like terrifying piece of information that you could have given me. Why did you do that? You couldn't have just said like, oh, horses are cute. That's a fact. But yeah, my be uh, my best friend has a horse called Angel, and I'm jealous. Oh. That's so good though, because I'm sure if you have a best friend who has a horse, she'll let you ride it sometimes. So, you know, it's a win-win. Um, I'm getting cake. Why were you talking about me? Because I can. Because I can, Skittle. <laughs> okay, right. Shall we? Oh, Nutella pancake has a little Nutella in it. Can you believe it? That's shocking. I didn't know that at all. Cheese is ugly. Correct. Correct. Skittle, I already had that. I already had that fact thrown at me. I don't need another one. All right, moving on. Enough, enough facts because you guys are traumatizing me. Oh, this is a cute cult. This is an interesting pattern, actually. I wonder which way this um, coat color is going to go when it grows up. I want to say it'll turn into a bit of a spirit. I reckon. Yeah, I think that'll turn into spirit. Um, interesting. This looks like one of Juno's uh, OCs if it grows up to look exactly like how I thought it would. Um, give me a good name. S'mores? S'mores is a good name. This is a cult. This is a cult. Spottle? Mm, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Can't, can't, can't definitely say I'm going for that. Uh, Carmen? Carmen's a good name. Aztec! Ooh, I like that name. I like the name Aztec. I'm gonna go with the name Aztec. That's a, I think I had a horse called Aztec at some point, like on Rancher Craft or like a Minecraft server. Aztec. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like all grown up. Oh, he's cute. He does actually look like, hold on. I wonder if I can pull it up. Um, okay, let's go to her. Pro I swear she has an OC that looks exactly like this. It'd be funny if, if I could find it. I mean... She did at one point. I just don't know where all her OCs are. Oh, Eagle. That was the name of her horse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This. Um, okay, it doesn't really look like it, but hello. Is this gonna... There we go. See? It kind of looks like him. It And the hair and everything. Like, okay, the, the marking doesn't exactly match up, but it, the socks kind of do as well, kind of. Like, it, lo it looks like her OC. This is... um. Hold on, let me promo her because she's awesome. Um, this is Juno Fox on Instagram, by the way. Um, so you should definitely go follow her because her she does like spirit art and and stuff like that, and I would highly recommend it. And she she gifted me something the other day. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what it was. And I was just like, Ugh. it was the sweetest thing ever. She gifted me a Brea Sporkle, like a custom one, and I was like, oh my god. So highly recommend following her. She's really cool. It's um Juno dot fox with like three x's yeah, juno underscore fox with two x's my bad <laughs> i was so close but so far so aztec is actually one of this is an interesting coat i actually really like it um i can't remember i think i need to redo my breeding with spirit video because i used the wrong coat color technically so probably gonna redo that at some point um nutella pancake let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Um, I'm interested to see if it's cute because Nutella Pancake is kind of cute. 
Oh my god, it's a mini me. It's a tiny little mini me. That's so cute. We're gonna have to come up with a with a, a name for her though. Um she's literally the spitting image of her mom. Like there is who are we breeding with? We're breeding with Turbo. Not a single element of Turbo is in this horse. What do we call her? Isn't it Mini Nutella? That's kind of cute. Turbo Pancake? I kind of hate that for some reason. <laughs> call it Copycat? That's kind of cute. Moldy Tree Buck. Skittle, what is your problem? You love cheese and then a horse comes out with the same coat pattern and you're just like, oh, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. Nutella Crep? Oh, that's kind of good. I was thinking of going like confectionery. I mean, Mini Me is a good name suggestion, but I was kind of thinking like, could we go like confectionaries, like crepe or waffle or something like that? Dark Whisper is kind of a nice name. Sugar Crepe? No, I just love, no, no, I love this one. I just love names. Oh, right. Okay. Got it. Um, Sugar Crepe? We're, macaroon? Pancake? But then mum's name is Pancake, isn't it? Nutella Flapjack. That's kind of cute. I feel like the name Flapjack is just really cute. Should we go with um, Nutella Flapjack? Nutella Flapjack. Am I gonna get, what? am I gonna get, wait, that's not a thing, right? Like if I call a horse after a brand name, I'm not gonna get in trouble, am I? Cause like I saw this thing once where somebody got their Instagram account deleted because they called something Oreo and they, they like, they got striked down by Oreo. So I hope Nutella doesn't come after me for that. Uh, so we've got Nutella Flapjack and Nutella Pancake who are basically spitting images of each other apart from maybe the face markings. So cute though. I absolutely love that. Um, I really like the name Flapjack as well. So we've got one more, we've got Sheep. Shall we see what Sheep has brought us? Hopefully it's got some of Turbo because I haven't seen much of Turbo. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. What do we call it though? What do we call it? This is, I'm thinking something. Okay, we can either go like sheep themed because of the mum, or we can go like, I'm thinking like ethereal, like something not necessarily biblical, but like something that's like, like the first thing that comes into my mind is like the, the name Angel, for instance. I mean, I knew lamb was gonna come up because it does kind of look like a lamb, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, lamb is definitely a good, like, fallback if you don't find something better. Espionage is not quite what I'm going for. Um, sugar? Maybe? Lammy? Daisy's cute. Atina? That's a nice name. I might just go with lamb, because I feel like... Abby, call it whipped cream. Why? <laughs> I, I think I see the vision. Mystic's kind of good. Rowdy girl. That's interesting. Snow White. All right, I'm gonna be really boring and I'm gonna go with lamb just cause I feel like it's a, it's a, it, like it works, you know? Like it does work. And she's so pretty. She's so, so pretty. <gasps> it looks like Enchanting Essence. It looks a lot like Enchanting Essence actually. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Did Enchanting Essence like Okay, apparently it is. Oh yeah, because of course that is Turbo's color, I think. No, it isn't. Turbo's a completely different color. He's classic brown with a gray dilution and she's classic white with a single gray dilution. Interesting. It does look like Enchanting Essence has actually been sneaky and is actually the dad, but I'm gonna just trust the genetics on this one. Um, so shall we do, did you guys say Death's Ice? Should we do Death's Ice? I'm thinking we should. Just because he is a gorgeous horse. And it's an interesting pattern as well because it's twin Pinto. So uh, actually, I should research his hidden genetics. So he's got Golden Bay Champagne and a Pintaloosa. Not a huge fan of the Pintaloosa. I don't know why. Just There's too much going on. Like either be a Pinto or an Appaloosa. I don't like the mix, but that's just me. So uh, let's go ahead and breed. Then Death's Ice, and we'll go... Who should we breed? Mmm. We have a lot of horses to choose from now. What are you guys feeling? Lamb? This isn't a bad combo. Yeah, okay, we'll do these two. I'm just gonna do this as well, just because <laughs> I felt like I should. So we'll do Lamb. I was also thinking Plain Jane, Samantha. 
I was also thinking, as soon as I saw her on the list, I was like, oh, I kind of want to, kind of want to mix those two, see what we get. Because there's, like, a lot of genetics at play at the minute, so also Sam Doll is kind of cute. Maybe we'll go with Plain Jane, just because... Oh, look, she is cute! She does look like a baking sheet, but it's still still very cute. Um, and then we'll do... Who for the last one, though? Sand Dollar? I was thinking that, actually. I was thinking that. Okay, we'll do we'll do Sand Dollar. Do Sand Dollar, who in my heart will always be popped floaty. What does that mean? Why would you call the horse popped floaty? That's that's so mean. Okay, right. Uh, I was gonna say entertain me for ten seconds, but by the time I'm done saying it, it'll be past the time. So now we're just going to sit and look at each other. This is peak entertainment. Is it done yet? Okay, it's done. <laughs> Horse Gymnast, hi, nice to see you. We can do Sparkle and Jericho at some point as well. Okay, shall we see what Lamb and Death Sice has brought us? Ooh, interesting. That pattern keeps making an appearance. I reckon I'm gonna hate the color of it when it grows up because I think it'll lighten, which I don't like. But what do we think? This is a filly. It's kind of got good stats, sort of. Um, salvageable stats at least. Spark, I'm not going with Communist Manifesto. That is not one of the names we will be using today. Krutana, I'm closer to. Sparta. Silence of the Lambs! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That was... That, I was so excited to type it that my, my fingers went all over the keyboard. That was a great name suggestion. Well done, Rattle. That's two for today. Good job. That is awesome. That was... <laughs> that was a really cool name. I'm glad I picked that one. Okay, so we're on to plain... Jane. That's yummy. Call it Communist Manifesto. Me and Rattle will like you again. Actually, I picked two of Rattle's names, so it's just you that don't <laughs> that doesn't like me, Skittle. So we'll we'll get you a name, don't worry. Right, let's see what plain Jane has to offer. If I wait six seconds, will it go down another bunch of money? I don't think it will. Hold on, let me see. It did, kind of. Not really. Okay, we'll go ahead and skip. Let's see what plain Jane has brought us. Let us see. Oh! It's basically a carbon copy, sort of. I think. Oh no, oh, this is the coat color I don't like because of the shoulder thing. I don't know what it is. I think Turbo might have it as well, but he his blends better. But like this, like, like darker shoulder just doesn't work for me. It just doesn't work for me at all. It's not good. Shade, I don't like the fall. Sapphire is not a fan of the fall. Massacre, that's, wow, that is quite the name suggestion. Chimney, ooh, I kinda like the name Chimney. Call it baking paper. No, I I don't know. I don't like it. Oh, it's up for debate. You don't you don't like me, Rattle? I'm so sad right now. Brownie, mascara. I could. I did kind of like chimney just because it looks like the horse has gone up a chimney. You know, how it has the darker nose, the darker eyes, and the darker shoulder. All right, we'll go with chimney. Am I gonna spell chimney first try? Probably not. Chimney. Is that how you spell it? I'm gonna spell it in the chat and see if it corrects me. Chimney. It didn't. Okay, okay. I'm going to assume that's how you spell it. So, uh, there we go. Here's Chimney. This is an interesting name. And it does... Because, look, it looks like the soot on the shoulder. Like, it does. It does look like that. It's cute. Definitely not my favorite. Not my favorite thing. I mean, he's kind of cute. He... <laughs> okay, for perspective-wise, I thought Chimney was, like, shorter. Oh, can you imagine if you had heights in this game? That would be so stinking cute. Like, you could just have, like, a thoroughbred that was, like, 15 hands and then, like, a different thoroughbred who was, like, 17 hands. Like, actually, that's an interesting question. I guess Sporkle would be, like, a shorter horse, but not, like, really short. Maybe she'd be, like, probably, like, 15 hands, but Jericho would be, like, 18, I think. Like, he'd definitely be a taller one. Gizmo as well, he'd be tall. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Um, the last one that we have is Sand Dollar. So hang on to your names. Hopefully we've got an interesting one this time. Fingers crossed. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, shut up. That's so cute. That is a chestnut with, I don't know what the coat name is, but it's a spotted something. That's so unique though. I love that. Okay, you've got to give me good name suggestions. Abby, in the stream... Is genuinely full of horses. I hate. Can we bring tarmac back? Why do you hate these horses? I think they're nice. Cow. I know. Isn't they cute? This one's cute. 
apple cow spotty dalmatian i'd go with that if the undercolor was black it's not though it looks like either a brown or a chestnut actually it's it probably is a bay i'm trying to see it probably might be a bay spotty dalmatian speaks that's an interesting one moon balloon call her freckles liver dalmatian sand spot Ooh. I kind of like, is that a thing? Is Sandspot an actual thing? Specs. Ooh, Specs is a cute name. Winter May. I don't think that that fits her. Actually, kind of does. I absolutely love that name suggestion, though. I think Winter May is probably the prettiest name suggestion I've ever seen. What a gorgeous name. Sunspot. Ooh, I kind of like that. But, like, I don't know. Dusk. Derby. Dotted Dollar. Oh, yes. Let's go with Dotted Dollar. I like that. I like that a lot dotted dollar yes because then it, it it's, it's nice i like it it plays up um that is definitely a bay underneath i'll go have a look at the coat color right now actually right to this right this instance uh blood bay interesting blood bay with no dilution so it is a bay uh with a leopard pattern cool and as you can see here's the tree we've got dave whimsical who made sand dollar and sand dollar and death size there is no great grand dam on or, or no no, it's Grand Sire and Grand Dam on Desai's side because they're custom horses. That would be, like, elite if you could, like, set the custom horses because then you could, like, set who was, like, the parent of who. But, like, that's a bit too complex, I reckon. Either way, still really cool. Yo, let, should we do one more breeding? I'm thinking we do one more breeding. So, let's have a pick of our... I mean, we could pick one of the, one of the guys or one of the studs we got. We could pick Chimney. We could pick... Aztec, we could pick Moon. Yeah, we could do one of those three actually. So Aztec, Chimney, I lost the other one. Hold on. Or Moon, what do you guys think? I was sort of leaning towards A Aztec as well. I like Moon. I know Chimneys wasn't going to be a particularly um, <laughs> like popular suggestion. We could do Aztec though, I do like Aztec. Aztec and asterisk. Okay, I'm just double checking that Aster asterisk is not on Aztec's uh, breeding uh, tree already. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Like, the horses don't come out with less stats. That would be a crazy penalty, though. <gasps> you know what? I actually, what do you guys think of that idea? Okay, if in specifically Rival Stars, if you, if it detected that you had, like, multiple of the like if you had a horse that and in interbred at some points during its um like family tree and you got penalized on 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 like stats do you think that would be a good idea me personally i'm on the fence because in real life if you oh my god it have you ever seen the thoroughbred like directory of like the family trees there's like it's a family bush up there. Like, they, like if you take, like, a famous horse, like, Secretariat, Man of War, uh, I don't, Ruffy never bred. Um, like, those horses, they appear, like, multiple times in the tree of, like, a single racehorse. It is probably not a good idea. Like, generally, in inbreeding in, like, any animal is just not a good idea because it does stuff with the genetics. But it's very, very common in horse racing. It's so sad. Um... So maybe that would be an interesting thing. No, yes. Kind of on the fence. Um, Sporkle and Jericho, maybe. I can't promise. I cannot promise anything. But um, maybe. I'm I'm tempted to do lamb. Even though we just did lamb. Maybe we could do... Dotted dollar. I feel like we should do, right? We should do dotted dollar. Because that's cute. And well, I think we'll have a better tree for it as well. So we'll do those two. And people want Lamb again. Lamb is just a really pretty horse. There was someone else that you guys said you really wanted, but I can't remember who it was. So we've only got we've only got one more spot. So some people are saying Plain Jane, Kayla. Lamb we just did. Don't worry, I've got you guys covered. Um could do Nutella Flapjack or Sand Dollar again. Could do Gouda as well. I know Skittle doesn't like Gouda. Bye, Princess. Thanks for joining us. Um, plain Jane. I'm kind of tempted to do Plain Jane again. She's cute, right? Like, she's a cute horse. I think I underestimated her. I was so underwhelmed when she was a foal. But, like, now I'm like, she's actually growing on me. 
No Gouda, please. <laughs> Have we done Moon? Moon was the um, stud, though. We, at the minute, cannot breed two studs together. That's not possible. I like Plain Jane. So do I. I'll go, I'll go with Plain Jane. We'll do these two. Okay, right. Let's see. Yeah, Moon is a stallion. <laughs> okay, right. So, we're, first up, we've got Dotted Dollar. Let's see what we've got. Bye, Matthew. Thanks for joining us. Let's let's go ahead and see. Hopefully, it's cute. Eh. Oh, I'm, I'm on the fence. It's cute as a foal. I reckon it won't be so cute when it grows up. Terrible jump stat. Terrible, terrible jump stat. Um, what should we name it? Pathogen? No, I'm not naming a horse Pathogen. Unless I get a horse that really looks like Pathogen. I, like, that is a good name that I feel like I need to save, you know? Fudge? Maybe? S'mores? I don't know because the the mom's name is daughter dollar and the dad is aztec can we do anything with those maybe chicken <laughs> i appreciate the suggestion terror bud oh don't remind me spark do not remind me i don't know i kind of see it though maybe sandy bank Ooh, that was kind of nice terror bud <laughs> no <laughs> Crutana? Actually, I'll go with Crutana because I think that kind of fits. Crutana. That's kind of cute. It kind of reminds me of the word crouton, so. Oh, she darkened. Kind of. Cute. I actually like that. She's a very cute horse. Yeah. On the fence, sort of how much I like her, but she is cute. I'll give you that. So, this is Lam and Aztec. I'm very interested to see what um, Lam and Aztec bring. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I kind of hate it. And the stats are pretty bad too. Ooh. I, I'm going to let you guys just go free on this one. Just give me a name suggestion. Like, look at the horse and tell me what, like, if the first word that comes into your head. Dead Ebony. That's so, that's kind of morbid, but it's kind of a pretty name as well. Dirty Cheese. Snowy. That's not very nice. 100% pathogen. No, this horse is not pathogen. Bree. We're not on the cheese line though. I don't think lamb came from cheese. I don't think. Crusty, that's so mean. <laughs> Goddess, that's kind of, that is a nice name. Powder, blaze, butter, just straight butter. Can we do anything with like, the, the mum's name is lamb? Is there any like sheep theme names that we've got? Salty gal, I mean the, the dad's name is Aztec. There's not really much we can do with that behemoth that's a good word not a good name though <laughs> bread cow i <laughs> i said lamb the like a sheep themed lamb sauce that's a gordon ramsay reference and i feel like i have to pick that one. Oh, i'm out of i'm out of uh store spaces yeah i'm gonna have to sell some hold on careful fall okay so uh lamb sauce that's, it was a good name. It was a good name suggestion. I like it. Where is the lamb sauce? If you've seen that clip, you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, we're done with cheese for today, so we'll just move him to the pasture. And preemptively, I'll move Kayla as well. Don't worry, they're not being sold. They're just moving to the pasture. I went the wrong way. Look at lamb sauce! He's so cute! Actually, is it he or she? I, I don't know. I think it's a filly. Oh, I just skipped Plain Jane. I'm so sorry. Oh, well. Okay, we're doing this. And Plain Jane has given us a copy that's slightly different. Decent stats, though. That's actually pretty impressive. Um, okay, give me plain names. So, like, give me... not When I say plain names, I don't mean, like, bad names. I mean, like, just generic names. Common names. Just something that's not, like, like pathogen. <laughs> like, give me, like, normal names that I can... I can use. Even plainer, Jane. I appreciate the suggestion, Skittle. I'll put that on the back burner. I'm not a huge fan of the last fall. What, this one or the one before? Plain Jam? Jake. That is that is a pretty plain name. Plain Jake. <laughs> Guys, there was like four people that put down Plain Jake immediately. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll, we'll do Plain Jake because that's actually quite funny. Okay, uh, skip to Stallion. Let's do Plain Jake, that was a good suggestion. There was like four people in the chat that said the same thing basically at the same time. Um, we'll do plain Jake then. That was a good suggestion. Well done. Um, and honestly, it suits him. It really does. It really, really does. I wish they were next to each other so that I could 
show you them better. So here's Plain Jane. So she's like the lighter one. And then we have uh, Plain Jake, who's the sun. Look at this. Oh, we've actually got a full tree now. Turbo Whimsical, Dave Sporkle, Plain Jane and Aztec. That's awesome. I kind of wish I had cared for him now that I think about it. But that's a cool thing to have done. So I'm pretty happy. Right, so we're back to Lamb Sauce. Let's go ahead and skip her to Mare. Because it is a her. Um, here it is. This is Lamb Sauce. That was a great name suggestion, Skittle. Well done. That was good. Right. That's all we have time for today, I'm afraid. Um, I will be working very hard to get stuff out. I do have a video coming out on Friday, so enjoy that. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, take care. You won't see me next week. I'm busy next week, unfortunately. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to Nee the Fool Fallen Moon Tiger, Guiana's Life, uh, Little Killer, oh, that's an interesting name, uh, becoming a Pine Team member, Bianca, Midnight Bianca for the 11 months, going on one year, and Skizzle for the $2 uh, with the name suggestion Spees, which I just didn't do <laughs> so sorry about the skittle um maybe another time so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video bye bye